Hey, how's it going today? It's Thomas Steed here. Just wanted to talk to you guys, show you a uh, solid thrift store win that I got here. These are a actually a aligned, a uh, insulated line lining from a. Uh, I want to say it's whites. The welt on those. And just the overall makeup of this boot says whites to me. It really does. Um, but they were 8B. Which one is it? And it looks like these ones are. Eleven oh eight, so back in two thousand and eight, I think these were were made. So whoever it was that made them, they did a fantastic job. And whoever bought these originally, like I said, the other thing that screams at me is the coloring. It looks like that red. I don't know if it's the red dog or whatever they they call it, but the uh, that redder leather from from whites. Um, not as much of a win for me because I can't fit in them, but uh, my wife can. She'll be able to fit in them a lot better once uh, once she has the babies. Yes, I said babies, twins. Um, so that said, like, share, subscribe, comment in the comment section, and I will have a uh, donation link to uh, my Streamlabs. And uh, yeah, if you feel so inclined drop me some money anything helps i appreciate it if you enjoy the content i enjoy making it uh let's take a closer look at these they got the mini lug sole on them they're standard rounded bottoms for that arch support inside of them so this is more of a packer style not the super pointy toe one but a packer style you can tell they had the original kilties it's another thing is, is that it's got five points on here which is the uh, more of the whites style kilty they're typically just straight and they've got five points on the front of them but you can see where those rub they didn't have them in them when I got them or laces so I, you know, just cut out some rounded kilties um, based off of the ones that I've got for my, uh, uh, my Red Wings, the uh, Slate Mule Skinner ones. I, I used that kiltie and kind of made just sort of a, a rough outline for these, cut them a little bit differently not selling kilties or anything like that I just you know made them for for this pair of boots and then I took the leather laces that busted off of you know my Franks they after you know eight nine months they finally gave up the ghost and I still had enough length on them that I could convert them for these and then I added these little aged brass eyelets to kind of match the eyelets on there I think they look real nice my wife's gonna love them once she can wear them. They're just just a hair tight because of the, you know, pregnancy swelling in the feet, stuff like that. But in any event, this is a. Uh, these are in good enough condition that if it wasn't the fact that my wife was gonna wear them, these would be. Uh, this would be something that you could uh, you could resell. This is when you go to a thrift store and you're looking for good quality boots and they're not ones that you're particularly going to wear but you you want to you know turn a profit on them this is this is a prime example of the kind of quality that you know you'd be looking for to turn around and you know resell that you know, it's it's in good condition the the heels i think they may have got a, a re redo on their hills those might be brand new um, but the soles really haven't gotten much to any work on them they don't have 
anywhere to them. I mean, for a boot that's, you know, probably up there in the four to $600 range to have made new, picking those up at a thrift store and then turning around and selling them off somewhere between 100 and 200 bucks, somebody's getting a steal. If you're not gonna wear them, somebody will. And then somebody who knows what you got and what what they're getting for that price and you're everybody wins in that situation so that would be one this would be an example of something i would not feel bad selling to somebody for a hundred or two hundred dollars you know i'd make my money back on them um you know, plus a little bit and somebody else would be getting a fantastic boot that doesn't fit me and i was able to just take condition them a bit put a new kilty on there throw some laces and somebody else is getting an amazing boot for for a great price but uh that's not the case with these ones my wife's getting these ones so anyways thanks for checking it out y'all have a good one like share subscribe comment in the comment section